Hi everyone, welcome back to IT Samurai Teacher. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up a custom domain in Azure Intra ID, especially using a subdomain. I'm also going to walk you through the steps in Namecheap, which is where my domain is registered. By the end of this video, you'll know how to add a custom subdomain in Azure Intro ID and link it up seamlessly with Azure. So let's get started. All right, here's the plan. I want to add a custom domain in Azure Intro ID. You can see on my screen, I'm in the Intro ID custom domain section and I need to add a custom domain. So once you click add a custom domain, you can enter your custom domain here, right? So here's my plan. I want to add a custom domain in Azure Intra ID portal. Now, and instead I'm using my main domain directly, that that's mean uh, samuraiteacher.com. I'm going to create a subdomain specially for this purpose. In this case, the subdomain will be office.samuraiteacher.com. So I'm going to set up in the name chip and then verify in the Azure. Before that, we need to get a TXT record. So before we jump into the name chip, here's my name chip, right? Before we jump into the your hosting register, go to the um, Azure, add a custom domain and custom domain name, type office samurai teacher.com. So this is the subdomain I'm going to create. Now you can see on the all the way bottom and uh, oh, because of my photo, you cannot see it. So let me put this away. So once you uh, put the name, you can see all the way right bottom add a domain. So once you click that, okay, so what you need to do is you just take this, take this record. Like uh, we, ha I have a TXT record. If you want, you can get MX record or TXT record. So I want the TXT record. So uh, the main thing we want is the uh, this address and the TTL value. So copy this or take a screenshot and we're going to jump into our name chip uh, registrar. Or if you have GoDaddy or anything, just go to your uh, registrar. And next you'll uh, find uh, your domain. So my domain is samuraiteacher.com and click and manage and then go to advanced tab. You can see advanced DNS tab. This is where I can add a custom records like CNAME or TXT records because I need to have the TXT record. So I need to add a TXT record. Okay, now we need to add the subdomain. Okay, because subdomain mean uh, when you added a subdomain, we need to point to the uh, Azure custom domain. Okay, so you can see uh, we need this record, TXT record. So now we going to create a subdomain. Uh, our subdomain in office.samuraiteacher.com. For this, I'll cl uh, click on add a new DNS record. You can see if you go all the way and run DNS, uh, under advanced DNS, added a new DNS record. I'm going to click that. Now, uh, in here, you can choose the one you want, right? So now I need TXT, not MX, TXT. I'm going to use TXT. Sometimes probably we'll get a C name. Uh, I don't get a C name here, so I'm going with the TXT record. You can see here TXT record. So TXT record is recommended by Azure. So I could also use a C name record, but in this case, Azure provided TXT records. So I need to follow that uh, instructions. Uh, so we choose the TXT record in here. And host, we're going to type office. Office because this is for office.samuraiteacher.com. The value, Azure gave us a specific verification code, which is uh, is this one. So I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to paste it here. Okay. 
So I'm going to paste that uh, txt record here. And now the TTL value, this is the TTL value, is set to 3600. So we need to Actually, I don't have a TTL value in here. I have to use automatic. So sometimes if you go that you something, probably you have an option to add a TTL value. For me, I don't have an option in the uh, name, name chip. So I'm going with the automatic. Okay, so I'm going with the automatic. So I just save. You can see I just save it. Okay, and I already apply this stuff. Now that we added a subdomain record in Namecheap, let's switch over to Azure portal to verify it. Okay, in the Azure Enter ID section, uh, under here, so make sure you don't close this and click verify. So you can unable to verify the domain name, ensure you have added records about the register with some rotation and try again little while click more. so probably take some time so i'm going to wait for like 10 minutes and i'm going to jump again okay i wait for five minutes or so let's go ahead and click that verify button okay it's good so i wait just only for five minutes and verify domain name successfully verify domain name office samurai teacher.com for use within the default directory so it's look perfect Okay, jump into the overview tab and I want to confirm. So I'm jumping back to my custom domain names in here. So you can see it's a green checkbox. It's successfully verified and our custom domain is live, right? It's awesome. So that's all for this video. So I want to tell you that thanks for following along this video series for small businesses for Azure. So this is actually part of a full small business setup series with Azure. And this video marks the third step in the in our video series. So we have one, two, three. This is the third one. So let's quickly recap uh, where I have been so far. So in my first video, we set up pay as you go subscription for small business. So it's a it's a great way to control cost while accessing Azure Powerful Futures. The second video we did is we configured Azure Entra ID to set up a identity management. And this video, the third step, uh, we link custom domain to our Entra ID. So we are ready to use professional branded domain for our authentication and user management. Uh, in the next video, we are will will take things further by setting up user logins, authentication settings using this custom domain. I'll walk you through creating user accounts, which I already show you, but with the new custom domain, assigning roles and setting up multi-factor authentication (MFA) to add an extra layer of security. Um, I am also going to give some recommendation. Probably, I'm going to create videos the down the future actually next videos next video so i'm going to create this video so one so i'm next video i'm going to create mfa the second one role based access so assign specific roles to different users based on their job needs to keep access organized and secure because i already created a custom domain office summary teacher so now i can create more user accounts Right, so I'm going to do a custom role based accounts for demonstration purposes so you know, like IT, uh, admins, developers, you know, a help desk each. Uh, the third one is I'm going to create a separate video for self service password reset SSPR. Enabling self service password reset can reduce IT load and improve convenience for users. That's going to be awesome. The fourth one. Uh, recommendation one I'm going to do it conditional access policies so set up a conditional access policies to restrict access base location device type or other situation which is can be especially helpful for remote teams believe me that's a good one so if you're interested in taking these steps to fully secure and customize your user management, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video. 
Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one as we continue building the perfect Azure setup for small businesses.